All right, soldiers, listen up. This is the night before... No, oh, come back. It's the night before Christmas, and all through the house is about to be filled full of hyperactive screaming children, annoying relatives, and judgmental, uh, well, let's just call them in-laws. So, everyone here at Playing With Weapons has decided that we're going to help you survive the next 24 to 48 hours. Most of us can't be as lucky as we are and have a nice uh, workshop with boarded up windows surrounded by barbed wire and a minefield. The uh, Homeowner Association wasn't too happy about that one, but uh, once we get the artillery gun fixed up, I don't think they'll be, uh, they'll be bothering us anymore. Is that holiday cheer I smell? One moment. And we're back. So, this year we decided we're going to put together a nice little uh, survival kit to help you survive. As well as some nice uh, hints and tricks that might help the mate. Eh, can't speak today. It's been a long day. Might help the next, uh, you know holiday season be a little more survivable. Let me see what I uh, have to show you. So, in your uh, nice survival kit here, let's get really get this on camera. There we go. We put it together, it should have all your essentials that you're going to need to survive this holiday. For start with, we have miscellaneous tools. You, you never know what you're going to need. You might need to, you know, cut the power, repair something because, you know, your family's idiots and can't seem to do things for themselves, so you have to do it for them. Or, you know, make a distraction through some uh, weird gizmo you cook up on the holidays. Next up, we have road flares. These things are not only handy because if you get stranded, you know, it's a flare, but in case you need to, you know, set a Christmas tree on fire or cook the turkey that they didn't put in nearly as soon as it needed to be, these are good for that. Nice, uh, nice magnesium burning will really, really uh, set things up. Next up, gas masks. These things are like stupid important because we all know people try to, you know, spread holiday cheer through varying, uh, nice smelling things and you don't really want to you really don't want that stuff in your lungs so gas mask with a good filter you know definitely going to save your life there next up we have cat treats dog treats will work if that's a situation but uh not much for dogs so you know fight me on that one but these will be used so you know you can bait the you know unsuspecting animal over and really uh Really get them to like you, and then you can show your superiority over the rest of your family that the cat came to you and not any of them. Next up, we have hand grenades. These things are really, really easy to use. You know, pull the pin out, chuck it out the door, and shout, think fast when carolers show up. This is why no one ever comes to my house. It is great. And last up, we have an actual flare gun. Now, pretty nice. These will be used, you know, if you have some sort of, like, community Christmas tree or whatever, you know, you find some high ground, you know, point this at it, release a flare, and what a heavenly light. So, I know what you're thinking. This container looks suspicious, you know. They're going to see it coming, you know, why do you have one of these containers carrying at you? Do you have a survival kit? No. You see, it comes with a nice bow, put it on top of it, hides amongst the presents, and they will never suspect a thing. Just like the uh, fake nose and glasses with the mustache routine. No one ever, no one ever uh, looks through it. Now, for your outfit for this um, occasion, there's only two things I really have that you're gonna wanna definitely have. The rest of it, you know, makes sure comfortable, easy to move in, you know. If you can, you know, dance or fight in it, that's what you're gonna want. Also, you know, if you need to do some acrobatics to escape, I would re definitely recommend using that. But the main thing, of course, gym shoes. Now, they definitely have to be your old gym shoes, well broken, in, something you could run away screaming in, or, if necessary, take them off and chuck them at your opponent and watch them gag because that's uh, probably against the Geneva Convention, but uh, we don't care about that here. Second off, you're going to want to play carrier vest, obviously. You know, Christmas is a dangerous time. You never know what kind of presents might contain some sort of uh, poorly packaged explosives, or, you know, the turkey might randomly combust. So having some sort of protective layer between you and 
whatever might be happening, it's definitely a must. Also, it's gonna freak everyone out and they're not gonna come near you, which is also something you definitely want during the holidays. All right, so now that you have your survival kits, we are prepared to face this holiday. Now, uh, there's always some practical jokes you could be playing, you know. The classic uh, dynamite in the gingerbread house is definitely something we all know about. But you could also put, you know, napalm in the turkey. Laxatives in whatever Christmas pudding that somehow finds its way into everything. You know, stuff like that will definitely uh, make this holiday more interesting. Of course, if that doesn't work, you can always lock yourself in the bathroom and watch playing with weapon videos. That's always it. Always my strategy. You know, avoidance, best policy. So, now that you're all fully prepared, I hope you survive this holiday. I believe in you, soldier. Mm, that's a good cup of joe.